Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to our daily fellowshipping with God with Turning Point. Here we listen to God's word as we wake up first thing in the morning for our daily devotion. God also speaks to us through his word and testimonies from people. We receive daily spiritual nourishment and strength. Don't miss Turning Point daily and form the lifestyle of receiving it first as you wake up. Hear it lying down, sitting or kneeling down beside your bed or your bed, or take your phone with you to your bathroom, your kitchen, or your workout, if that is what you do first thing as you wake up. Say it's on phone, take it along. Hear God's word first. After the ministration, pray more on your own. Pray in tongues, which is also called praying in the spirit, or pray in the, your language, which is called praying in your understanding. You can do both. God hear it all. Prophesy to the day and declare to it how you want it to run for you before you step out of your house. Remember to anoint yourself on a daily basis and speak to your life as well. Welcome also to Saturday, the 24th day in June 2023. Wow, July is counting down. God will still bless you massively before the end of this month. You will step into the incoming month dancing, singing with sweet testimonies. Please open or lay your hand on yourself as I pray. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. Wherever you are now, receive a fresh touch of divine presence. All the country that you may be, the community, the street, the estate, the street, the house that you live in and you walk out. I pray the light of heaven will shine on you there. Do not let what you see, feel, hear, or may be happening around you disturb your peace if they are negative or contrary to God's words for you. God's words for you is in third John verse 2. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. Another one, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I know the thought that I have towards you, says the Lord, thought of good and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Psalm 91 verse 16. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. Deuteronomy 33 verse 6. Thou shalt live and not die. Psalm 35 verse 27. God has pleasure in the prosperity of his people. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 17. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Fear not, nor be dismayed. I will fight for you. Job chapter 8 verse 7. Though your beginning may be small, your later end shall greatly increase. And Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. He said concerning you, your number of days shall be 120 years. Let me stop here. So many listeners, anything contrary to this God's word for you, reject them. You can read all those verses yourself again. God's words and plans for you shall stand, no matter what you see, hear, or feel, no matter what any human being may say. God's word shall prevail. Say amen. You shall not remain single, or barren, or jobless, or sickly, or poor for too long. Every bad thing on you will change. You will laugh, you will dance, and rejoice soon. If today is your bad day, open your hand or touch yourself for prayers. You are blessed. You will do well. You will live long and fulfill purpose in Jesus' name. Say amen. Everyone prepare your communion food. Today is our communion service online. We shall climax this ministration today with taking communion after I have prayed on it for you. First testimony today. I raise up my phone for miracle alert where you instructed us to do so. And the next day, my auntie credited my phone with 20,000 naira. Glory be to God. Bigger ones are coming for you. Another testifier. Daddy told us today to sort our tongue and call someone we have been calling but have refused to pick our call that he will give a favorable response, uh, which is what I did. A friend of mine, which promised to give me some money and has been delaying. After I obeyed Daddy's instruction, he sent me the money this afternoon. Tithe has been sent very soon. God is indeed magnificent. Thank you, Jesus, and God continue to lift you up, Daddy, in Jesus' name. Many more surprises will come for you. Somebody said, I wish to thank God for answering number two of my goals and aspirations for 2023, and that is my son and my daughter getting admission to the universities of their choices, and to God be the glory 
it has been done. My second testimony is that my second daughter has been dealing with a big lump at her wrist for many months now. After listening to Turning Point on that morning, where daddy prayed for those with a swollen body part, I immediately raised my daughter's hand and claimed it. I then advised her to always rub the anointing oil on it, and to God be the glory, it has finally gone down. A lump of months old has completely vanished, and her wrist is now back to normal. Wow! Wonderful mother and daughter there. Somebody said, I want to say thank you to Jehovah Overdue. Since I joined this commission, my pulse has never run dry. It has been receiving a lot upon a lot. Wow! No one's pulse will run dry anymore. Somebody said, I woke up this morning and I saw a lot of 75 pounds on my phone. I'm so happy. Tight scent. That he prayed for me that it will not stop. No, no. More and more will come. It will not stop. Somebody said, God of Femi Emmanuel has done wonders in my life today. Instant healing to me this morning. As the program was going on, I key into the anointing. I was having pain on my waist. Before the end of the first session of end to evil occurrences, the pains were gone. I cannot thank God enough. And that the please pray that the one on my left hand will disappear also. Yes, consider it done. It will disappear. Somebody said, glory be to God in the highest. Daddy said, get a paper and write, my appointed time is now 21 times and sign seven times. My long-awaited promotion to the professorial cadre has been announced. Glory be to God Almighty. Yeah, you will do well in that cause. Somebody said, I want to give all the glory to God. I have been waiting for an upgraded offer letter for an admission. And on the Friday, 16 June, our daddy prayed that all those waiting for something important will receive it. That same day, I received my offer letter. Glory to God. Thank you so much, daddy. And I pray that the Lord will perfect the remaining processes for me. Yes, consider it done. Another person I saw a token into Daddy Femi Emmanuel on Father's Day, and by Wednesday of the same week, my childhood friend transferred a good amount of money to my account to use to celebrate his own birthday at my own end here, since we are in different locations. I was amazed with the alert. Secondly, God sowed a particular good that has lingered. Wow! Sowing on Father's Day to Daddy's life opened that door. These things are working. About three weeks ago, during the program, Pastor Femi Emmanuel said, we should raise our phone and pray for us to receive a lot, which I did. The second day, I received a lot from two different cousins. Again, on the third day, I got another alert from another cousin. Tithe has been paid to the GT account of the commission. I also pay for the battle seat for my son's relocation. Daddy, please pray for my sons to, for my son to be favored in their visa process. Consider it done. Another one. I have pain on my right eye. I have used eye drop for cure, but nothing working. I had to stop using the eye drop and I used the blessed water instead and I anointed my eyes. Behold, my right eye pain has gone. Thank you, Jesus. These are amazing stories. What medication cannot do, ministrations is doing it. Somebody say, help me thank God for not allowing the enemy to touch any of my children. Number two, my power bank that is no more working, I wrap it with the mantle, it started working. Three, God healed me from long time rashes when our father asked us to anoint for seven days. Jehovah overdue is always on time in my situation. As I receive a lot upon a lot, anytime that he asks us to raise our phones, tight remitted instantly. Peace and unity now back in my family. Thank you, Jesus. May God increase your anointing, sir. Wow. God bless you richly, daddy, and all the pastors in the team. After more than five years of praying for my marriage to be legalized in the marriage registry, my husband used to be adamant and not challenged about it. God has done it now. My marriage has been legalized on the 8th of June at Ikoi Marriage Registry, Lagos. Hallelujah. God strengthen you, sir, more and more. I am here to testify to the glory of God of a lot 
upon a lad, a family friend of mine, living abroad, credited my account with good sum of money that helped reduce pressure on us. I give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Tight has been sent. God will see you through on all the remaining ones. Another testifier. I want to thank God for granting me the Canadian visa after three years of waiting. Wow. Whoever has been waiting for one thing or the other, you will give testimony of it very soon. Please rebroadcast it to all your all your contact. Follow us on our two Sunday services tomorrow, 7 to 9.30 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. respectively. The First National and International Ministers Conference 2023 is counting down. Write it out somewhere not to forget. Date, Wednesday, July 12th at Living Spring Chapel, Goshe Land Avenue, opposite Allen Avenue Interchange from 10 a.m. that day. It is for all ministers in all ministries. It is interdenominational. All apostles, bishops, pastors, geos, state, district, and assembly pastors, itinerary ministers, leaders, and elders in all churches. Come, what can make your ministry grow and bring you resources, human and material resources? Come, anointing will be stirred up. Come and have relationship with others, iron sharpens iron. Come and know other people. Come and be mentored and come and have relationship. Our Bishop Joseph Ujo will be joining me to minister that day and other fathers of faith in the ministry. So be there. Don't hold back, and the power of God will take you up and bless you. Buses shall be provided for all ministers from Ogun, Oyo, Ondo, Ocean State, free of charge. But you need to send a telephone, SMS, or chat to say, please, register me for the minister's conference, your name, and your ministry, or your church, so that we can make adequate arrangement for you. Telephone numbers is 806 928 and 090-555-144-60. Start chatting and sending messages now. Now take the communion. It's time for our communion. The blood of Jesus and the broken body of Jesus. Hold them as I pray. I prophesy whatever cannot overcome the blood of Jesus will not overcome you. Receive strength. Receive grace. Receive healing. Receive lifting. Receive connection. All the good things in life you desire, as you take this cup today by faith, they become your testimonies. You are blessed. The communion in your hand is blessed in Jesus' name. Pray some more by your, for yourself, by yourself on the communion. When you are true, eat and drink. Miracle starts immediately. You are blessed. You are lifted. What God cannot do does not exist. God sends me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day.